Hi and welcome back uh, this is Robin again with uh, part two of my video log, my vlog. Uh, you may remember that I, I spoke about um, what happened towards the end of 2007 and how very sad things uh, came together with something which was going to lead to a whole lot of positivity. Um, in the new year of 2008 my uh, sister suggested that we should make a journey together, have an adventure and go and visit my brother Peter and his wife Doreen who lived in New Mexico. Uh, it would be quite an adventure. Um, I have to say that the United States wasn't my dream destination, um, although I did really want to go and see my brother. Um, but I had this other little thought which was creeping into my mind um, and so I sent an email off to uh, Luce Dufour through um, through MySpace then a message and uh, I asked her if she had any uh, concerts coming up in the next in the springtime uh, because of the possibility that my sister Audrey and I might actually go to America and if we did then maybe we could actually call in to Quebec on the way to New Mexico or on the way back. And Luce uh, kindly sent me uh, a list of those concerts and more than that she actually told me that if I chose one of the dates that was available that Audrey and I would be her guests at the concert which was wonderful. And so, um, to cut a very long story short, um, my sister and I went to America. We set off in April. Um, I had three t-shirts made. Uh, I'm wearing one at the moment. I've, I've always wanted to do this in, in, in front of people like David. I've got this special t-shirt, which I might have to lift up so you can see it. Uh, or I might move the camera down a bit so you can see it. Um, it's a poster, it's a kind of poster I made and it says something like on our way to see Luce du Faux. and it gives the dates, it gives where we're going and it says we're going via London Heathrow, Dallas El Paso, Alamogordo, Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, and Montreal, Montreal. That could very well be the subject of another vlog, but I want to go way through that lot and get back to, um, well, get to Montreal. We arrived uh, at Montreal Airport. Um, and going through customs it was actually quite funny and Lucy's recounted this story herself a couple of times. Uh, when we got to immigration control and customs uh, the officer behind in the little booth uh, said to me and so what is your reason uh, for visiting Quebec? So I told him I've come to see Lucy Defoe in concert and he, he said Wow, I know she's a good singer, but that's an awful long way to come. It's worth it. So we got to our hotel. It was an apart hotel on Sherbrooke West in the city. And I rang Louise. Louise was the lady who initially put me into touch, in touch with, um, with Luce. She was the lady who had passed my letter on, my email message on to Luce. Uh, and I was very grateful and had reason to be even more grateful because she and her husband Sylvain had agreed to come into the city uh, they live about 40 minutes away and to collect my sister and I and to drive us out to saint Hyacinthe, the small town in which uh, Luce was performing that evening or the next day I should say. So after exploring uh, as much as we could the next day of the city 
um, we stood outside the apart hotel on Sherbrooke West and waited for Louise and Sylvain to arrive, which they duly did. They drove us out of Montreal, Montreal, to Saint Hyacinthe, and uh, we arrived there too early for the concert, um, but early enough to have a little bit of a walk around and to experience the town and to have something to eat. And as we were walking around beside a, a, a very interesting market where they were selling things like maple syrup, we there were loudspeakers on the lampposts. Uh, and it was strange because they were playing Luce's songs. So it, it was getting us really into the mood for the concert. It was fantastic. And then we went for a meal just about 200 metres from, from the... Um, the theatre. And while we were sitting there, uh, Louise turned and says, oh, there's Luce. And turned round and just caught a glimpse uh, of Luce and uh, her musicians walking past the restaurant. It felt like running out and chasing her, but I restrained myself. Um, so we made our way after the meal to the theatre. Uh, we stood in the in the um, entrance hall, hallway, whatever you call it, and uh, there were some CDs on sale. I, was, I had, to, I made a couple of purchases, um, and then we were given our tickets. And uh, Louise and Sylvain had, had bought their own tickets, and they were sitting somewhere else. So my sister and I took our our seats, and um, waited. Uh, stage as they do when dark and then lights grew a little bit on came the silhouetted musicians and began to play a song and then Luce emerged from the shadows still sweated and silhouetted until she started to sing and the lights came up um, uh, the first song, I remember it so well, was Les Anges dans la neige, dans, dans la neige, uh, Snow Angels. Uh, it was beautiful. The, con the concert continued. It, w it seemed to go past in about 30 seconds. It was so, so wonderful. It was an amazing experience to be there. And the thing that I picked up on immediately and I've seen ever since, every time I've seen Luce since, has been the amazing rapport that she has with her audience. Um, you can't be there too long before someone's laughing and she's laughing. Uh, it's wonderful. So we got right through the concert and we got to the encore. Um, and Luce and the guys came back on stage and she made a little announcement and said that she was singing this song, next song for a couple of friends, um, Robin and Jean, and that my wife's name. And that was something which took my breath away, really. Um, I found it difficult to stand up, because <laughs> everyone was standing up at the time, uh, applauding her. And uh, she sang... Johnny Mitchell's uh, Clouds, I've, I've looked at life from both sides now, and so on. And it was wonderful. Um, I can't ever hear that song without thinking of that evening in saint Saint. So the concert ended, and we stood again in, in, in the lobby, and then someone came and collected us and took us through backstage uh, where we were greeted by Luce and her husband Jean-Marie um, and they were so welcoming, it was, it, was, it was superb there was cuddles and hugs all around um, she told, Luce told me that she'd been following my blog as we'd been travelling around the United States which was something special and. Um, Sylvain had, uh, had created, I should have had it with me, um, a special t-shirt 
he used a, an airbrush to paint uh, a picture, a portrait of Luce singing on a black t-shirt. So it was like silvery greys on the black. And um, he'd given that to me as a present. And so Luce graciously wrote a message on that t-shirt for me. Words to the effect, I think it was in French, no it might not be. Um, it's nice to have you here with us at last. And she also signed a third t-shirt. Now I was wearing one. My sister was wearing one. But she signed a third t-shirt. And if you're wondering who that might have been for, um, I'll tell you in the next vlog. Somebody, somebody very special and again someone who opened another chapter of my life. I'm going to, I've got about 30 topics that I would like to go through. Perhaps as this video finishes you might see some of the titles of the options. If you particularly would like to see one please leave a message and let me know because I don't simply want to work through this chronologically. It would be nice to dot about. Um, if you are watching, please let me know. Um, it makes it worthwhile. I know there are some people who've, who have watched and who have commented and I, I thank them very much for that. And I do hope that uh, you'll find the stories interesting. Okay? Thank you, and again, see you soon.